Benjamin from Bosnia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kako si? Dobro. Alhamdulillah. So, if a person does a wudu and is certain that there is a no impurities on him, he goes to masjid and prays his prayers without having any feeling or evidence that uh, something that he that something came out and then comes back home. So in total, like 20, 25 minutes uh, from making wudu, he, he then finds out that there is impurity in his underwear. Are his prayers valid or should he repeat his prayers again? So we have an issue here, Benjamin. The issue number one is that the certainty that I have performed wudu and my underwear is clean when I prayed. This is certain. Now the doubt comes 25 minutes after I finish my prayer. So we have a rule that states certainty is not affected by doubt, which means when I was certain that I was pure, this certainty remains exactly as in the hadith where the Prophet once, alayhi salatu wasalam, prayed in congregation, he was the imam, while wearing his sandals. And the companions behind him were all wearing their sandals. And by the way, this is a sunnah. If you're wearing your sandals and the place is accepting that, that you wear shoes and pray with your shoes or pray in your sandals or because the prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam sallu fi ni'alikum pray in your sandals or your slippers for the jews do not pray in their sandals so the prophet is telling us that this is okay however if you go to the masjid and it's all carpets and you enter with your shoes on the worshippers would be irritated and angry and probably would cause problems for you. So don't do this because you will make the clean carpet dirty with your shoes. Not najis, dirty. But if you're in an airport or if you are in a lounge or if you are in a mall and you want to pray, pray with your shoes on. So the Prophet led the prayer alayhi salatu wasalam with his shoes on. In the middle of the prayer, he took them off. So the companions all took their, took their shoes off. After the prayer was over, the Prophet turned around and said to them, why did you take your shoes off? They said, you took your shoes off, we take our shoes off. You pray with them on, we pray with them on. We are following everything you do, O Prophet of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he said, Jibreel, the archangel, came to me while... I was in prayer telling me that there is an ajasa in the soil of my shoes. So I took them off. Now, what do we learn? Number one, it is not permissible to pray with najasa on your clothes. Number two, whatever prayer that was done with an impurity on your clothes, the prayer is valid if you did not know. Because the Prophet did not break his salat and started it all over again. No, the two rak'ahs or three rak'ahs that he had prayed with soiled shoes, with shoes with najasa, were valid. Coming back to your question, your prayer is valid because this najasa could have come out in these 25 minutes of your time after the salat. As we do not have certainty, the certain thing is your prayer was done in a correct wudu and in the state of purity, so no need to doubt this, and Allah knows best.